The fans know that this is a magnificent performer. From Washington, D.C., Mike Menser. a pre-med student and he won the 1976 Mr. America was second in the 1976 Mr. Universe in Montreal look at that back Winner in the North American Bodybuilding Championship medium class from Washington, D.C., Mike Menser. Also judged to have the best arms and the best legs. There is the overall champion, Mike Menser. Washington, D.C. This award is a two tickets to Australia with stopovers in Hawaii and Fiji, Mike. Darcy Beckles of Barbados was second overall, and Dave Dupre was third Thank overall. I congratulate you on a tremendous championship. Ray Ballou was most muscular. Now the champ. Mr. North America for 1977, Mike Manser of Washington, D.C. And Mike, uh, I understand you're a medical student. Does this help and assist in the development and the understanding of the muscles? Well, certainly a bodybuilder has to have a knowledge of all the muscles, but uh, that's not why I chose medicine, no. <laughs> Did uh, you get into uh, the body development aspects of it because of medicine or vice versa? Well, I got into bodybuilding, and that led to, of course, an intense interest in the body, and uh, it developed, of course, into my present uh, status as a student in medicine. How many hours a day do you have to work to develop a physique like that? Well, most bodybuilders train at least three hours a day, six days a week, but I only train a total of three hours a week. Okay, what do you do during those hours? Train very hard. What type of training? Working mainly on weights? Yeah, barbells, dumbbells, so forth. What's the most you lift? Uh, about 1,200 pounds. Let's see you flex those muscles one more time. Just a nice close-up shot here for that arm development. Now, let's see. Let's, let's compare. No, I'll put mine behind you, and you'll cover the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mike, what are you going to do in the future now? Obviously, you've got a very heavy schedule with the medical studies. Uh, what are you going to do as far as uh, bodybuilding is concerned? Uh, well, the two are starting to conflict, so one of these days I'll have to make a decision, either bodybuilding or medicine. Okay, now some people are obviously going to ask, after you give up bodybuilding, what happens to the muscles? Do they begin to sag? No, not at all. As long as you uh, tailor your diet to your activity need demands, uh, your muscles just shrink and atrophy back to normal size. Mike Matzer, congratulations. A tremendous development and a tremendous accomplishment. Mr. North America for 1977. This is Don Whitman reporting from the championships in Vancouver.